Hello there, Cancer friends. Welcome to my channel, Healing Tea Talk, and welcome to your final week and a half of October reading, October 23rd through the 31st. I'm so glad you decided to join me and see what's going on with that girl in that deep purple lipstick. It's serious, ain't it? Wow. Wow. All right, you guys. Well, thank you guys so much for clicking in. If you are a regular subscriber and you watch the videos, thank you for tuning back in to see what's going on the final week and a half of October. If you are new, welcome and welcome cross watchers to this reading for my cancer friends. Also, if you watch the videos and you have not liked or subscribed, shame on you. I need you to like and subscribe the videos, you guys. It would be really helpful and great if you did that. So I'm going to say a quick prayer and then we're going to get into your reading cancer. So Father, thank you for my cancer friends and those who are watching for the cancer that they love and are interested in. I pray for the highest level of divine guidance, archangel spirit guides of the highest, most holy divine order. Thank you, ancestors. And thank you, Jesus. All right, cancer. So right off the rip, those who love, love you, which is wonderful to know, isn't it? It says to be beautiful in the eyes of another, simply forget they're watching cancer friends. So I just feel really strongly that um, some of you could be really, really busy or you're interested in someone who's really busy. Um, and, you know, it's just reassurance that sometimes the people that we're interested in or that are interested in us, um, the feeling is mutual. It just our love language could be different. Or we're really focused on something else right now. But those you love do love you. And it says most people are just trying to survive cancer. It says just remember, most people are so beguiled by your charm, awed by your confidence, and inspired by your choices. They simply forget to say thank you, please, and I love you like crazy as often as they feel the urge. Let's not be one of these people. So I feel off the rip, cancer, that you guys could really be... Um, People could be misunderstanding you. I feel like you do love people. And I feel like there's someone in your life you deeply, deeply care about, but they're not feeling the love and, or vice versa. You aren't feeling loved and appreciated. So this is affirmation for some of you cancers watching or watching for a cancer that you are loved and appreciated. People are just trying to make it in life. People are trying to pay their bills. People are busy trying to handle things. And so if you are not getting the attention that you feel you deserve cancer, it's not because you are not loved. It's just because life is happening to people and they are trying to just deal with it. Okay. So let's get the overall energy of this reading for my cancer friends. Overall energy, please, Holy Spirit, for my cancer friends for this final week of October, this final week and a half, October 23rd through the 31st. This message may not resonate with everyone, you guys. It is meant for a general audience. Um, I do have some reading specials that could benefit you if you feel so inclined to get more clarity or guidance for your situation. Just visit my website at healingteethtalk.com. Okay. All right. So cancer friends, the world card is your overall energy here. Um, so there is some kind of divine ending, a summation of something in a beautiful way. It's a happy ending and a beautiful new beginning for some of you. For others, it is your outlook on the world, uh, how you're seeing things um, is, is the issue at hand, and I, I hesitate to use issue, but it's sort of like the theme, okay? Um, some of you could be traveling, some of you could be relocating, some of you could be dealing with somebody of a different nationality. We'll get more guidance here. And then the five of Gabriel here, which is about not seeing things eye to eye with somebody, Cancer. Um, this is uh, drama, some of you may be, we'll find out what's going on. <laughs> so there could be some drama in your life or in your circle. Could be from a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. But this is, uh, or, or it could be competition. Some of you could be competing for a promotion or something like that. But there's some kind of, um, there's some kind of conflict. Um, you are being encouraged to have patience with yourself and others. I'm definitely feeling that cancer um 
you all could want something really badly and people, it doesn't seem like people are cooperating with you or seeing things your way, maybe. And you feel a little bit of conflict or you guys are bringing the drama. It's something. We'll figure it out, though. What's the crossing energy for my cancer friends? This final week and a half of October. What's the crossing energy? What is the crossing energy of this world card, please? So I failed to mention, sorry, cancer friends. So this other card was sitting there where it says, convince yourself, not others. I feel like whatever you are trying to convince people of, you it's really you trying to convince yourself. And I think that's what that five of wands was about is... Uh, again, some of you could be competing for a promotion, and so you may have to give a presentation where you are doing a persuasive pitch of some type to get people to see things your way or to buy a product or something like that. Others of you, it's you trying so, so hard. You're protesting too much to get people to see things your way, and it's really because you're not all the way comfortable with maybe a decision. You want that affirmation from people but not to convince you necessarily, okay? It's like you you want the affirmation. Um, so the moon card is, you know, sort of this, um, I'm putting this in the challenge spot because there's something that you may not be seeing or something you could be missing. You could be dealing with the Pisces, but it's like, you know, facing your fears, looking there's something that you're not looking at cancer friends at the bottom of the deck is a three of Raphael here so this is about happy occasion socializing with friends mingling um having to having a reason to celebrate and um yeah okay so in your recent past is another major arcana card change your life all right and this, again, like that world card, see his perspective, how he's sitting on that ledge looking out over the city. So this is a sudden revelation that offers freedom, break free of procrastination, embrace the opportunities that change brains. So I feel like some kind of interaction in the past could have been with friends or whatever. The underlying energy, it could be something your friends have said. Someone has said to you, you're trying to convince people around you of something, perhaps. The crowning energy is the Knight of Michael. So it's about taking action, wanting to take action, wanting to move forward. This is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Okay, so you want to move forward like you have a plan and a focus. Uh, I think you want to change your life. You want to move forward into calmer waters here with this six of Michael. You all see the light at the end of the tunnel. You see the light at the end of the tunnel and you're going for it. But there's something you're not seeing. What's the potential outcome for my cancer friends, please, Holy Spirit? And then we'll get clarifiers, you guys. What is the potential outcome for my, thank you, solutions. Oh, I love it, cancer. So there are solutions in your near future. Success that comes from objective compromise, self-control, and patience, forgiving, and healing energy. Cancer, I love it. Could be coming to a home environment. A four of Ariel is here too, which is about being resistant to change. Right. Like sort of not wanting to change quickly. OK, um, it could be it's also being conservative. So you can be conservative in your outlook, conservative with your with your finances or resources. Um, hmm. OK, so let's get some clarifiers here. All right. So what is this world card about Holy Spirit? Some of you may be at a distance from somebody that you love and you're not sure how they feel about you because you're in a long distance relationship, perhaps. Um, so you're being reassured that they love you. Um, the emperor is here, another major arcana. So the emperor definitely and the world card together speaks kingdom to me like this, like somebody whose resources reach influence is very um 
massive and expansive, okay? There is a devil card here at the bottom of the deck. So there's some kind of obsession maybe with material gain or some type of obsession with uh, conquering uh, new territory is what I'm getting. So there, there seems to be cancer, some type of obsession with, um, yeah, just conquering new territory with you guys. That's what I'm, that's what I'm getting. So what's the, what's the moon card about then? Why is this a challenge for them? Holy spirit, something flipped over. Hold on guys. Something flipped over. All right. The Ten of Wands. So you could already have a lot going on, Cancer, and you're trying to still add to your kingdom, trying to still add to the bag, but you have so much responsibility already. Okay, you have a lot going on already, and yet you're still trying to attain and add more to your shoulders here. The Hierophant card is here, which is about higher level, levels of commitment, right? So you could be taking on more and more and more stuff, um, and you're having trouble managing what you're already trying to manage. Okay. Could totally be it. Some of you could be, um, I don't know. Somebody could be thinking about marriage. Somebody could be thinking about a higher level of, or position or being a, uh, taking a higher level position where there's a lot more responsibility and maybe you're not understanding or realizing how much more time, energy, effort is going to take to do this. Like you're not understanding. You will not be able to go out with your friends. You will not be able to um, do some of the things you used to do because this taking on this, this higher role and responsibility will indeed change your life. And some of you want to win at all costs. It's like, I don't really care about the casualties or who I have to cut out of my life. Could be kept cutting out friends and people who love you very much, but you're willing to win at all costs. It's just that there is a blind spot as it relates to how much you really would be taking on cancer. Okay. What's this three of Raphael? Holy Spirit. Yeah, so I feel like those who you love, love you. Like, I feel like your friends and family love you very, very much. Um, they love you very much, okay? Uh, I just feel like you're so busy, you may not see it or hear it, and it's because you're busy, okay? Um, so the Page of Cups is here. Yeah, it's like somebody wanting to offer an apology, somebody wanting to... Um, Express their feelings. Uh, I just feel like it's your friends. Maybe you want to say to them, you know, I'm sorry I'm not spending a whole lot of time with you guys right now. Um, it's really wanting, you know, wish fulfillment, though. Like you're really, really feeling fulfilled or want to be fulfilled in life. And that's your motivation is, you know, praise and recognition. That's what you want. You want praise and recognition. Okay, thank you, Lord. All right, what's this change your life card for my cancer friends? Something flipped over. We'll find there it is. Praise and recognition. Okay, so change your life, the Knight of Swords again. And so some of you guys are really pursuing this. You are pursuing praise and recognition. You um are looking for opportunities for change and you are not procrastinating. You have a vision and a plan and you are absolutely going for it. Um, the King of Cups is behind you. Somebody, a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio, someone is definitely, um, this is a loving, loving energy, a very generous and resourceful energy. I feel like someone is definitely supporting you. They support you, Cancer, and they're behind you. Um, What's this Knight of Michael? All right. So the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. So yeah. So the Queen of Cups is there. Someone, I just feel like people miss your presence. That's what I'm getting. That people miss you. Um, I think you are in full pursuit of your goals. You could be go going after this Queen of Cups, going to meet her, wanting to see her. Or this person is moving towards you. But the Queen of Cups definitely wears her feelings on her sleeve. 
In this picture, her cup is empty and she's long, has a longing look outward towards somebody. So I just feel like you are missing someone, Cancer. Someone is deeply, deeply missing you. I feel like give and take is an issue. OK, so if you are, whether it's friends, family or someone you love, there's there's a benevolence thing. People could be pulling on you. Right. There could be people who who need your help and it could feel like, a you know, a weight is on your shoulders. But it's also about. You know, if you're giving too much, you may need to pull back and start receiving or if you know, I just feel like it has something to do with give and take in a relationship. Somebody is feeling unappreciated or left out cancer. And I don't think there's a lot of communication or talk. I think there's action, but I don't think there's an explanation for the action, which is why you're trying to convince you trying to explain to people what you're doing and how you're moving is you really trying to convince yourself because they don't understand uh, I think people just miss you. And you could be just like, I got to hustle and pay bills. I got stuff I got to do. But I feel like there is room for more give and take cancer. Okay. And what is the solutions card and the outcome, Holy Spirit? What is the solutions card? Yeah, compromise, give and take. Totally. So the three of swords is here, which is heartbreak. Okay. Um. Time, you know, I feel like, and then I see a lover's card here, which is about making choices and the six of wands. So I feel like some of you are choosing recognition. You are choosing recognition over love. You'd rather be recognized right now. You, you want the accolades. You're taking on more and more and more, but you're not really seeing or understanding that you're going to lose out on love if you keep everything up at this pace. Like you are so focused and determined to win at all costs that you don't realize that you it will cost you something and it may cost you the person in your life who loves you the most. Yeah, this is like. You know, walking, you really, really want to be fulfilled. You're in pursuit of something that fulfills you, in pursuit of something. Some of you may feel like you're answering a higher calling. Um, and it's like, I can't stop until I get to that nine of cups. I can't stop until I get there. But you have some casualties along the way. I feel strongly, Cancer, that in pursuit of this higher calling, in pursuit of this praise and recognition, you pass on love. So I do feel that. And it's like an obsession here. It's like you're obsessed with it, with this devil card showing up again. It's like you are obsessed with finding that, with getting that fulfilling feeling, feeling fulfilled and then undergoing a humongous life transformation. You are undergoing a huge transformation with this death card here, which I sort of mentioned in, a, I think in the previous video that Scorpio season is not a damn game. This is a Scorpio card. Okay. Scorpio season, which will be here next week. No, it's this weekend. It? Today's the 21st. Scorpio season it starts Wednesday. Scorpio season is all about transformation, facing your fears, looking at the areas in your life that are sometimes scary to look at. Pluto is all about that sort of awakening. It's, it's you know, very closely related to Uranus, but it's looking at your dark side, looking at your shadow side, um, looking at patterns in your life. Why have I always done this? Or getting to the root cause of where you are in life. But it is taking a hard look with this moon energy twice, and the Eight of Cups, it's taking a hard look at what hasn't served you, what isn't working, why isn't it working, okay? And so that's a major shift for a lot of us, Cancer, not just you, but it's like you're in pursuit of fulfillment, praise, and recognition, but it costs you something. And so you may want to look at what is it costing you, though? You know, it's like you win, but who do you share it with if you cut everybody out and you've hurt people along the way? Who do you share? Who do you share the praise with? Who do you share the recognition with? 
if you've hurt people, if people are a casualty in this war on fulfillment? It's a good question. All right, you guys. So I'm going to end your reading there, Cancer. Um, let me know if this resonates with you. Um, again, please like, share, subscribe to the videos. Um, I love you guys dearly. Thank you so much. Visit my website, Healing Tea Talk, if you'd like to get more clarity and guidance on your situation. Um, I love you, Cancer. And we'll have the November readings up very, very soon. All right, you guys. Take care. God bless.